Okay. Let's get this set up. So we got the right one going. I'm by myself today. All right, so there we are. 20 minutes to count down. We should have live streams. There we go. Look at that. Go to my live stream manager over here and I can see who's on with us today. And that should not be in there. I didn't change that today. Well, good afternoon, everybody. I'm going to see who's watching us here in just a quick second. I'm by myself today. Um, hi, honey, my wife says. Hello, honey. I'm just going to pop out the chat there. There we go. That way I can see it nice and big. There we are. Michael Holland, good day, sir. I see Jerry Knapps there as well. So I'm by myself today. And because for whatever reason, Frank couldn't make it in today. So I'm doing the show all by myself today. And I am, I had to do some reconjiggering today, as it were. Um, so we are going to uh, just dive into it in about, you know, eight, eight and a half minutes or so. Um, good afternoon, Daniel Wright. How are you? How is your son? I hope he's doing well. Not too bad at the doctors, I hope. YouTube, Jerry says. What's the matter with YouTube? And there's Don. There is no Frank today, Don. The German printing nerd, our friend. There is no Frank today. I'm all by myself. So... I feel so alone. So I can see your comments right here. So I'm going to be looking at your comments today. So if I seem a little distracted, it's because I'm looking at your comments. Now, is audio coming through okay? Can every, anybody tell me if audio is coming through okay? Jerry says, no YouTube. Can you guys that are on YouTube see it on YouTube right now? Must be able to because we got Don and my wife over there. Okay, so we got audio over there. Andrew says A OK on YouTube. Excellent. So there is a stream going to YouTube. Facebook is good. What is the subject, Raphael says today? Well, today's subject's kind of was kind of thrown together at the last minute. So today what I'm gonna do is I'm going to talk about some stuff we're gonna be reviewing very, very soon. We're also gonna talk about some tools for getting getting ready to do the tramming, which we're going to do in uh, a little while. Hello, Mark Baker. How are you, sir? Yes, I did see your message, and we'll talk about that after the show. Cheryl Campbell, hello. Uh, hello from Frederick. Hello, sir. This is why I like to be able to see the comments because then I can say hello to you guys myself. Now, I'm not going to be typing anything into the chat today. You're just going to have to listen for it. So I'll, I'll just show you that there's no Frank here today. Let me just go over there. Switch to his camera. Instead of switching to my camera. Where's my mouse? There it is. I'm using a little tiny wireless keyboard today. There we go. Now, what I had to do today was I had to reconjigger everything so that 
I could see what Frank normally sees uh, on the monitor. And it's kind of tough to show you guys that, but um, I'm looking basically at the monitor that he would look at, only I'm looking at it on uh, the giant TV in front of me. Hello, Jason Dali. Jason Dali. I'm going to get that right one of these days. No sound on that feed. Yeah, there's no sound on that feed. Uh, I turned the microphone off for that one, so sorry. Um, Jerry says you reposted. Fabulous, thank you. I got to tell you guys really quickly, and I'm going to cover a little bit of this in the show. We have taken leaps and bounds um, in our YouTube and our Facebook group, and we've got a whole bunch of brand new people that have come on board and that are enjoying the content, and I'm getting, I'm starting to get more questions on back episodes as well. Um, and it, that's great, because I go back and I check all that stuff. And if I don't, my wife makes sure that I do. Um, Geraldine and Cheryl, my wife and one of my very best friends in the world, are having a conversation because they've never met before. <laughs> um, but uh, Batman on the shelf looks cool. Yes, he does look very cool. So we're at 404 on YouTube. Um, so like I said, when we hit 500, we're going to close another contest for uh, all of the Game of Thrones books, uh, a Game of Thrones action figure, a Game of Thrones 3D printed bust, and a $50 gift certificate to uh, Spool 3D. And I know uh, Graham Fortledge won the last contest. And I know that he's received his gift, his gift certificate and all of his other stuff. Um, Telly Montelli says he loves the t-shirt. Thank you very much. That's going to be the first t-shirt. Uh, if you guys want them, I want to, what I'm trying to do now is gauge how many people are interested in getting t-shirts uh, from the show. Um, and when we do, when I get a fair inkling of who wants to order t-shirts. The prices are there. Those are the retail prices of those shirts. Now, I'm not getting a kickback off of those shirts, just so you guys know. But uh, the nice thing about it is that uh, you guys will get a t-shirt in whatever color you want with either a white or a black um, logo on the shirt. Uh, thank you very much on 404 subs. Yes, as I said, we're this weekend was incredibly crazy. It just kind of jumped, and uh, it was it was really cool. Um, even our Facebook group, it, every day there's like five, maybe six people every day, and you guys can can attest to that because I'm always putting up a new welcome to our group, and I think it's important that we do that um, for new people, especially. Because I know myself, when I go into groups on Facebook or, or you know, Google or wherever they might be, or even the old Yahoo groups, you don't get welcomed in. Uh, most people will ask you to talk about yourself. And at some point in time, I really do want people to talk about themselves and how they got into the hobby and that kind of thing. Um, so that's what that's there for. I, wanna, I want the door to be open to everybody who is interested in 3D printing. Hey, Joshua West, how are you, sir? Uh, I'm getting the question I would be, but how much would it cost to get to me? Um, that is a good question. I'm not really sure because I'm not handling the merchandise. Uh, for the t-shirts, Don, and Don's referring to the the t-shirts on that. Um, I don't know what it's going to be to ship the t-shirts overseas, uh, whether you're in Germany or the UK or Japan or Hong Kong, wherever you might be, um, that you would have to contact the people that we're going to get the shirts through because it's going to be directly shipped from them. Um, and as soon as I have enough interest in it, then I'm going to move forward and talk a little bit about, uh, I'll talk about the company and, sh and actually share how you guys can get the t-shirts. And we'll talk a little bit more about that during today's show. Um, yeah, my wife says you're going to have to go to the site and find out from them. But we're going to get all that information ahead of time, so you guys will be, it'll be good. 
Uh, howdy, Emilio Vitt. Interaction with the members is very important. Thank you very much, Rudy. That is actually absolutely correct. We got about 34 seconds here before we actually start the show. And I can do it right from here because I have my little tiny keyboard. <laughs> I'm running the show with today, which is kind of t-shirt with a sticker. Oh, you'd like stickers. Well, I'm all out of stickers right now. I haven't gotten any more reprinted, but I will be getting some more done very, very soon. So we're down to nine seconds. So bear with me as I, <laughs> how does he do this? Hey, welcome to the show. My name is Richard Cleveland. I am your host on uh, today's show, and as I am every time. And right down there, you can see there's my name right down below. Um, I'm here every Monday and Friday for Coffee with Rich. This is our first layer live stream, which we do twice a week, and then we have a recorded show every Wednesday. If you're new here, welcome. Please consider hitting that subscribe button down at the bottom uh, if you haven't already. And hit that little bell so you get notified every time we do brand new episodes or we go live. All right, so what do I want to get into today? There's a lot of things I want to cover. I can see your comments today. And uh, we are doing, uh, I'm going to be back and forth to you and to here and to you and to here um, all day today. So we're going to, and then this afternoon, I have laser cutting training. So first thing I want to cover is we have a bunch of samples here that we are going to be doing a, a review on. We have two rolls of filament. I'm going to be giving one of those rolls away. They are PLA and they are from, let me just open the box. They are from Mamaru Bots. M-A-M-O-R-U-B-O-T. Mamaru Bots. I think that's the way. I pretty sure I'm butchering that name but that is uh, we've got all kinds of samples like there's a whole box here uh, of different colors and I'm going to be showing off those when we do the review um, I have two rolls to play with here I have a roll of black and a roll of white I'm going to use the black and I will be giving away the white uh, as well as we still have a roll of black from uh, Mech Solutions Limited to give away we're going to be giving away that to one of our Patreons. Uh, I just want to quickly talk about Patreon. Uh, if you haven't yet, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Um, it's at patreon.com slash the first layer. What that does, it helps us to bump things up a little bit here in the studio, whether it be with lighting, cameras, equipment, um, upgrading our printers, and bringing you guys the best content that we can. And there's little, there's little levels there that you can get involved in, um, and it really helps out the channel. It's, uh, it's not so much for me, but more for the channel. And maybe one day I'll be able to pay Frank when he comes back. He'll be back on Friday. Um, so with that said, let's dive into what's on my desk. Okay, so we can move that out of the way right now. So we'll just move that up. And here we've got some tools that I think are kind of necessary uh, for you to have in your arsenal. First thing I, I want to stress is get yourself a good pair of digital calipers. Um, digital calipers, these are from Aurora. Um, these got, I've got the long length ones, these are the 200 millimeter ones, but a, a good set of digital calipers come in handy when you're measuring filament when you're trying to make sure that your um, x axis is level to your bed and uh, that sort of thing so they really come in handy for they're a very useful tool to have in your arsenal uh, when you are setting up your 3d printer another good basic thing to have is a tape measure and because everything in on a 3d printer is in millimeters make sure that you get a millimeter tape measure, one that, or centimeter tape measure, um, so that you can accurately measure things. Now these two little guys, 
Um, this is a dial gauge. This is an electronic dial gauge. Uh, unfortunately, my battery is out. I must have had this sitting the wrong way in the box. Um, but what I've done here is I've printed off uh, a little piece that allows you to connect it to the x-axis bars and what this little lever does is it holds them in place nice and snug so when you're leveling your bed you can get a very accurate uh, measurement between those x-axis bars and your um, y-axis uh, bed so I'm going to show you guys how to use that and this this is a digital level box um, basically it's going to say error right now but uh, it does give you um, the degrees of how far you're out, whether you're, um, you know, a little bit too high on one side or a little bit too low on the other. Uh, very good idea to get yourself one of these. It's Basically, it's a level, only it's an electronic level. Now, if I could turn it off, it'd be great. There we go. And the other thing I want to point out is these guys right here. These are... Uh, one, two, three blocks. Um, I'm going to be using these one, two, three blocks very soon uh, when I do the tramming of the bed. And when you tram a bed, what you're doing is you're getting that tool head in line with these Y axis so that everything is perfectly in level with one another, okay? Um, and I'm going to use these to help with that uh, process. And this will almost guarantee that you have uh, a very level surface every time that you go to print so that your first layers are always going to go down great and we're going to it's going to be a fairly long tutorial so we're going to record that now I have one metal one this is a metal one that's commercially available um, and you can see that it's got some threading in the holes here uh, hopefully the camera is going to pick that up we've got some threading in the holes um, so you, that you can put bolts in and you can lock this down. Welders use these quite often. Now, you can make your own, and that's what this one is. This one was 3D printed. It's exactly the same size, as you can see. The holes are a little smaller than the holes that are in this one, but the holes aren't really that important for what we're doing. Um, this is truly square. This one, however might be a little warped because of the shrinkage of material. Now this was printed in ABS on the Duplicator I6 or the Duplicator 6. Machinists all over the world use one, two, three blocks. Yes, they do. Um, Joshua West says, Patreon is like $1 a month minimum. Everyone can afford that. Thank you very much, Joshua. Uh, I really appreciate that. Uh, just having a quick look here. Um, See if there's any questions that I'm missing right now. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Well, thank you. <laughs> um, so with that said, if you want to use these, they're a little heavy. So what they're going to do is they're going to compress your springs uh, because they are quite heavy. This is much lighter. You can print one out of ABS. You can print one out of PLA. You can print one out of... Uh, PETG, some sort of material. Make yourself a one, two, three block. You can find these on Thingiverse. Just type in one, two, three block and you'll find uh, this one, two, three block. But we're going to use that in conjunction with this and I'm going to do a new mount for it um, and I'm going to show you how to tram your bed properly in an upcoming episode. And that's going to be a recorded episode coming up. Uh, going back to my camera, yes, we have the laser cutter. The Trotec 100 is in the building. Um, it is connected. We have a computer back there ready to go. Um, we are going to be getting training this afternoon at 2 o'clock. So today is going to be kind of a short show. Um, and uh, we're going to film some of that so that you guys will get a kind of behind the scenes look at, at uh, the training that I get for using the Trotec laser. Now let's have a look at machinists. Okay, I saw that one from Joshua West. Uh, looks like nobody's got any questions. Wow. So we are doing merch. Um, we're going to start doing some merch. T-shirts first, see how they go. If you guys like the T-shirts, that's great. 
If you order one from, from the company that we're going to go through, we've got a little bit of talking yet to do about that. Um, great. I believe the t-shirts for the double X, and I need a double X, to 5X are $18.99, and from small or extra small right up to extra large are $12.99, and that's Canadian, that's not US. So it's going to be a little less if you're you know, uh, from the US and you're getting one of those t-shirts that have our logo on it. Now I did change the logo a little bit. My name is not on the logo. Um, what I did is I, I took that out and I put in our moniker, which is exploring the world of 3D printing. Um, so that's at the bottom. You guys can have a look at that. It's up on our Facebook group, and that's uh, facebook.com slash groups slash the first layer. Um, Joshua West is saying he might swing by. Well, Joshua's local, so he might swing by and see the laser cutter in action. We do have some material behind me here that I'm going to be using. Um, we've got some really good things coming up. We're going to continue working on the slider, the motorized slider, which I have started to set up. As you can see, I still have to print the end caps um, and print the feet for it. So you'll be able to put this onto a tripod or onto two tripods. Now this is about a meter long um, and uh, it will run via Arduino. Um, so I'm going to use some Arduino code and uh, we'll see how well this thing works. I, I think it's going to work really well and I'm really looking forward to get, getting this started. Then we can do some nice fancy shots. Get some fancy stuff going on. Um, I am going to be changing the opening of Coffee with Rich. Uh, very soon I'm going to redo that whole opening. Um, I'm actually going to film it and uh, we'll go from there and it'll be a little bit different from what you see but essentially it'll be the same feel it'll just be a tiny bit longer uh mark baker says what causes a bed to go out of level could it be from certain thingiverse files no what causes a bed to go out of level is when you are using your tools and you're putting pressure down on that bed and you're trying to pop off that uh that part that you've made with whether it be with a, a spudger or um, where are they? I moved them. Oh, they're all over there now. Um, or your putty knife. It's when you're putting that pressure down onto the bed, it's lifting up. That's what's and lifting up the part. That's what's causing it to go out of level. Because you got to remember, they're on four springs. So vibration can also do it if you've got a lot of vibration. But Mark, I don't think you have a lot of vibration in your, your uh, machine to really worry about. Mark's asking that question over on, on YouTube. So I, I think more than likely what's happening is you're putting a little bit too much pressure on the bed when you're trying to get off that part and it's causing it to go out of whack. And it shouldn't go out of whack that much. It should just be a, a quick little tighten when you, when you go through. We're gonna be talking about temperature towers uh, with different filaments as well. And we're going to do some temperature towers with this PLA filament. We also have some ABS samples as well. Um, so I want to take you guys through how to do a temperature tower, both in Cura and in Simplify 3D, because those are the two programs I know better. Uh, I do not know Slicer at all. Um, so I do have to learn Slicer, to be perfectly honest with you. I think uh, we have a few people in our community that are using Slicer. I prefer Simplify 3D. It's just a very intuitive program. Um, so that's kind of where we're going with that. Okay, any other questions while, we, while we're still going here? We've got a little bit more time yet. And doesn't look like it so far. I want to talk about Jerry Knapp's printing really quickly. If you haven't been over to our Facebook group yet, and or you are on our Facebook group and don't check it out very often, I'm going to ask you to go over and check out Jerry Knapp, K-N-A-P-P. -P. Uh, Jerry has some great models that he's purchased, that he's printed, and he's printing them all on a CR-10 if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and it's just amazing. Just amazing stuff. Speaking of which, 
I want to I want to quickly um, let you guys know that innov3d.co.uk uh, still has that coupon code available called First Layer. So at checkout, you can get some of their prints. The uh, Pennywise that I did, he's got a few more models up there. Um, you guys can go to innov3d.co.uk and type in first layer at checkout and you'll get uh, some change off of your uh, build. Uh, what else do I want to do? I want to thank uh, the guys that I thank, you know, every week and that's Spool 3D. Spool 3D, print it right, print it with spool3d.ca. They've got everything from printers to filaments to all the parts you could possibly need. And uh, you can find them at spool3d.ca. Now, somebody asked me if they ship all over the world. And they do ship worldwide. So wherever you may be, you can still order from Spool 3D, and we will ship it right to your door. Now, if you want to send anything to the show, um, you can do that by sending it to the first layer at 230 11929 40th Street Southeast Calgary, Alberta, T2Z4M8. And we'll show it here on the show. We'll use that on our mail Mondays. Um, and then finally, if you have any questions for me privately, you can always send them to my email at richard at thefirstlayer.com. If you have any questions for me, uh, that you don't want to put into the chat or you don't want to put into the comments, you can send them to me. Uh, again, that's richard at firstlayer, thefirstlayer.com. And I have to do the, the show notes for today, which I haven't gotten done yet. We had a busy morning here. Um, Spool 3D, I got in late because it was like trying to roller skate on an ice rink today coming to work. And... It really, really was. Uh, I don't know if any, how many of you in the audience are in the Calgary area, but our roads were just horrible this week, and we got a ton of snow, and we're expecting more snow later this week. Um, so we will do everything in our power to get the show out to you, and even if I got to do it from my home, I will do it from my home. I may not have all the fancy equipment, but I'll do it from my home. Um, Jerry says he's got two uh, 3D uh, CR10 uh, 3D printers. And William Donald is the guy who owns innov3d.co.uk. Uh, dot, um, give William some love. He's got a great little site over there, and he's, he's really trying to build his brand and his business. So we, we, you know, we want to support people that are in our communities. Glenmore was impossible to drive on. Yes, it was. Um, I didn't take Glenmore today. I actually took uh, the, the ring road to get to work today. But uh, because Deerfoot um, was like a parking lot. It really was. I went from 64th Avenue to McKnight and it took me a half an hour to get from one to the other. And they're not that far apart. You can usually drive them in about 30 seconds. Yeah, it was pretty bad around here. Um... Shorts in Vegas, Jerry says. <laughs> Thank you, Jerry. Um, pretty soon we'll have shorts in, in Calgary, too. So, you know, it, it does happen from time to time. Not all the time, but from time to time it does happen. And uh, with that, what else do we got going on? We got, I don't think we have a whole lot going on. Um, Jerry's, Jerry's Projects, or Jerry Knapp, has a Facebook group that I want you guys to go and check out. And it is called 3D Printing and Tink Tinkering. Go check that out. Um, what else we got? Uh, no other questions today. So we are going to... Today's kind of a short show um, because we've just got a lot going on. I am still printing uh, Emilio. He's on with us today. Emilio Vitt, if you haven't checked out his stuff, go check out his stuff. Uh, he just put up the... Um, uh, Lion-O, which I still haven't finished. Uh, we had some printing problems over the weekend, so what I wanted didn't happen. Uh, so I, did, I wasn't able to get it finished. But I will get it finished because my wife is bugging me about it. She wants it at home. So we're going to get it done, we're going to paint it up, and we're going to show you guys how we did that. Uh, and we're going to teach you how we did that as well. Uh, with that says, 
Uh, Don, the German printing nerd, says his Johnny Five project will be done soon. Last parts are coming maybe tomorrow. Okay, that's cool. Um, and speaking of uh, Don, the German printing nerd, we have a Maker's Cribs from Don. He sent us in a little three-minute video, which we're going to put into Wednesday's show for you, so you guys will be able to take a look at that. And if you have... Uh, a video that you want to send to me of your makerspace or you want me to come out and visit your makerspace if you're in the Calgary area um, we can come out and visit your makerspace and do some filming while we're there and and have a good time and uh, if you are not near us and you want to submit something to the show uh, just let me know and I'll give you the Dropbox information that you can put that video up into and that being said, I want to thank everybody for joining me today. It has been a hoot uh, to be by myself, and it's kind of strange doing all the, all the stuff on my own. But thank you guys for joining me today. I will see you again on Wednesday with our recorded show, and then I will see you live again here Friday for Coffee with Rich, the first layer live stream. Until then, you guys have yourselves a really, really great week. And now we're out. <laughs>